and here we have the winner of the Moon 100 for women and it's Fridrin Alberto from the Philippines based in Hong Kong who's going to win her first ever Asia Train Master race after several podium places. She took over control at checkpoint 8 when Wibble Wee Cartoon uh, gave up with an upset stomach. <coughs> and she's run a consistent uh, pace all day. She was called by Jessica Lantanga at some point, kilometer 50, halfway, but then Jessica Lantanga slowed down, um, as was to be expected. She's more of a 50k run, but Fridin Alberto is an ultra runner and she kept her pace up. And she's more than two hours ahead of the second woman that is still in the race, and that's Bean Lee from Korea. How do you feel right now? So tired. Oh, my uh, knee suffered from the, uh, I think, my previous injury. And uh, now it's happening the last 10K. I just walked all the way from the city here. Otherwise, you will get here faster than this, right? The road from the uh, but not on the beach side. Because I have to go up, you know, in the Bronx. Fridlin, congratulations with your first ATM victory. Um, a very consistent run today, but it was hard, wasn't it? Very hard, and um, I also suffered from my uh, from my miss uh, landing on my um, uh, right ankle, and all the the vine uh, vine. I don't know. It's uh, they're all everywhere, and I have to like my legs are hook, hook everywhere, and I have to like almost. Um, falling down on the cliff and I have to make my way on up and down so it's a bit difficult. I, I think I underestimated the terrain because I saw the briefing yesterday it was it says the the highest point was 650 something or yeah something like that and I said I, my biggest biggest mistake not to take my pole with me so but nevertheless, you run a consistent pace. Uh, you're the only one, basically. You didn't really slow down. Um, we saw you at halfway, uh, yeah. and then you were together with Jessica Lintanga, yeah. and you were still an hour behind the, the Thai lady, um, yeah. Cartoon, but she had an upset stomach, and you caught her, I believe, right? At CP8? Uh, CP7. CP7. Seven. Yeah, be just before the CP7. Uh, she, she doesn't really look good. Um, she was really pale. Uh, we we went to CP7 together. I mean, I arrived there first, but like few seconds, she, she's there next to me, and she did not stop. She, I mean, she she took water, but she did not uh, have any refreshment with her. Like, has to relax for a little bit, and she just kept going. So when I have my eyes. I have to offer her the eyes because she looks really pale, and she said I'm overheating. Yeah. And, and for our Malaysian friends uh, who have been following on our Facebook page as well, uh, what happened to Jessica Lintanga? She was behind me then. I don't know what happened. She was didn't wait for her. CP5. Uh, I thought she was just next to me. And then I arrived CP6. I'm still waiting for her. I stayed for like 13 minutes in uh, CP6. But I, I couldn't wait. So the guy next to me, the Thailand guy, he said, let's just go. And then I thought, he, I thought uh, Jessica could um, could catch up because I know she's really good at downhill. And um, well, she's still in the race apparently, but she's uh, sung down to third place now behind Bean Lee from Korea as well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But uh, congratulations, Fredlin. You, so um, you will also be number two now in the Asia Trail Master Championship. Oh, thank you so, so this is becoming much. more and more of a goal, I guess. Now, <laughs> um, enjoy your victory and thank have you. a good rest because uh, we've all deserved it.